Come with me and you'll breathe in a world of your imagination, because today it is indeed the Brelanders that heed the call of Middle-earth. We have a small respite here in Barley Town, and we are using it to build some buildings and reinforce our, well, forces. This is uh, crucial, because we should not imagine, even for a moment, that Dolguldur will let up their attacks here. But they are at least diverting a lot of troops as well to fight their new enemy, the Dwarves, who we have been allied to for a while and who are doing fairly well. Teely seems on the cusp of taking Yawlstone, or at least threatening it existentially. And that is, of My course, Lord. very, very neat indeed. So, we have a uh, multi-pronged plan here. We are yes, going to Norvalor. We're pressuring them there, the Snowhawks there. We will also get troops to Mount Gundabad. Because that needs to fall. And with those two settlements, I think we will be able to settle on a pretty amicable peace with the Snow Orcs. At least that is the plan and the hope. Maybe we can even do it now that they're on the sea under siege, but I mean Gundabad is a very pretty prize, so it stands to reason that taking it would be nice for us. And as such Whoa, we have folks Lord. going there. We also have Rich heading east. He will reinforce part of town and then push into other places because we need to do something about uh, these Dolgodur fellows. We need to show them you that they need. People, we need to show them that they need a peace with our people and that it is non-negotiable. And with all this in mind. Who shall we then send? I mean, Glep sits here in Litash, and who knows, he might be able to leave it behind at some point. But yes, it my lord. is even oh, more likely lord. that maybe lord, my lord. Council Master Wes or my someone else could take up the mantle of going to Gundabad. Either way, we're sort of at an end turn here, so why am I dillying? Why am I dallying? <gasps> Oh goodness, we tried to spy on a mortar army and our spy died. Nah. Now I need some tea. A consolation tea. A licorice tea, in this case. Ah, that last episode with the Arden Nine. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's done marvelously well. Actually I'm I'm uh, I'm happy to see that the occasional episode uh does really good numbers so i'll be toying a bit with the uh algorithm in days to come for sure to see what we can do now here we have otto and his pretty competent army facing off against gordov who also comes with some pretty nasty units and then we have captain gure hmm interesting name uh who comes with snow trolls of all things uh from the inside of novaraklor yeah uh, is this gonna be easy? No. Are we gonna do it? Well, maybe. We're gonna try. So, first of all, we are going to let it breathe, and then, boom! Attack! You heard the man. Attack! Very eloquently put, or something. Sort of. Maybe. Maybe eloquently put, but regardless. What matters most is that we do our best to stem the tide. The snow orc tide. Now. Do we have good ground for doing so? I would say we have decent ground for doing so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if we pivot a little bit, because if I remember right... Um, the reinforcements will be coming somewhere over here. So let's work with that in mind. Three units of catapults and some ballastai. They would be very handy for taking out the trolls, at the very least. We have a bit of cavalry. We have some infantry, some medium infantry. Uh, you can go with the cavalry and you can go with... Mm, you know what? Go with the Breelanders. Alrighty. 
let's see if we can set this up. I'm kind of thinking... No, you, you can't strike infantry. You should go with uh, the merchant infantry. So, the sword guards and axe guards will serve to protect our lovely crossbows. So, set up those over there, catapults there, then we have our gatekeepers, somewhat in front, behind them, ready to support our, our lovely, lovely, lovely watchmen then along the side here Doodledum. we have actually maybe we should split this into two yeah yeah let's do that okay so on this flank we have yeah so on either flank we have some heavy strike infantry ready to punch holes in things our baluster crew over here will be sort of important and we'll keep our bodyguard near here to support and then we have cavalry um, let's take one of you guys and put him over here and then we take team three and put him over here I think that's going to be it. Okay. Let's see what we can do. And indeed, indeed, our enemy come from the corner that I anticipated. This is nice. So. We should aim at some pretty high value targets with the ballast in particular. Ooh, what do we have here? Hmm. Half trolls, maybe. That's pretty good. Ooh, did that hurt? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so, well, if you... If you feel like chancing it... Come right along, you gundabad gobbers. Oh, that's one half troll down. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Woo! Alrighty. Time for a uh, lovely lad to. Oh, goodness gracious. That was a bit too close for home, that one. Go for the black shields there in the back. You might hit stuff that's. Uh, Further afield, but it's okay. Meet them with all the might the Bree can offer. Alright. Uh, I'll need to move our cavalry around. Prepare to flank. Alright. Uh, at this point, I guess we just want to. No, don't shoot your own men. Yeah, don't come too close together, apparently, you, or you'll be shot by your friends. Okay. Or should I say frenzy? Black Shield Warriors over there. Oh! Okay. Ooh, hello. You guys got caught. But, oh, you've actually... Mm, that's nice. Well done. Well done routing those. Okay, we're doing a decent job against this army so far. Let's keep a pause on our catapults. I don't feel like they're doing that much good. Well, occasionally they're hitting something nice, but... Uh, it's a bit iffy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's charge down the half trolls. That could be good. And then that warband needs to go. Okay. Um, you're 
trying to capture Hillman, and you are pressing the merchant infantry. You are some aggressive buggers, aren't you? Uh, okay, you need to uh, aid your friends then. And you guys need to do something about the enemy. Okay. First I move forward. General. General Otto! The enemy are badly uh, you got countercharged. Okay, men. that's not optimal, but... It'll do. It'll do, I guess. Half trolls, nine remaining, they're not happy. Which makes me happy. It makes me happy when the enemy is not happy. And then, let's do something about these black shield archers. Okay. Four hunters. Yeah, just take them down. It's good. And you charge into those archers. I want them dead. Okay. Uh, first army is in a good place. We've taken losses, but of course that was nigh inevitable. The good thing is that we've made a really nice showing here. I haven't taken too many losses. But those pale lyrics, <clears throat> they make me sad. So be it! Come, Patsy! Trolls coming in. When can you shoot them? At that distance? Nah. I wouldn't think so. Alright, time for charging some archers down. Um, <laughs> yeah. Both of our enemies are led by captains today, so that is definitely a nice feather in our cap. No doubt about it. Let's see, can you hit them? Well, go for it then. You have my blessing. Yes, it's good that you're strong people because we are in need of strong soldiers on this day. Alrighty, how are we doing here? Chasing down rabble? Yes, tra chasing down the rabble. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Would you like to hit those trolls or just create a fireworks display in their favor? You know, what are you doing? Okay, now we face a challenge though. There are still good troops to be fought and our troops are now tired. Um, okay, snow trolls, come on. Bring them down. Okay, we're starting, we're beginning to have an effect on them. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, primitive act. Or cavalry, how are you doing? Um, are there still something that needs charging down? Eh, we'll see. Uh, okay. Axman Watchguard, you need to do something very uncomfortable and charge into snow trolls. I'm sorry, but these are challenging times for all of us. Ah, oh, goodness. Took down a troll, but still. <laughs> this is, uh... It's always nerve-wracking to use catapults in these situations. Oh, here come the snow spears. All right, black shield warriors. No, 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 no. Don't want you to charge them. Actually, might be a nice job for our bodyguard. But thinking of it, ah, uh, hmm. Okay, Snow Scout's over there. Let's get him. And, uh, privateers. Privateers. Good tidings. The end. We've lost half of our men. 
Well, yes, we've lost half, but they've lost an army and then some. So I am going to be okay with it, especially because their captain has died by charging into a merchant infantry. How lovely. Okay. Charge. And then we need to do some more charging. Whee! Okay. Good. Now charge into those. You come along and deal. Oh, yes. Private cavalry will deal with those then. Nice. Just run them down. Now we'll also need to aid against the server here. But I think we're in a good place. The marauders have been shut down mostly. Their trolls are almost gone. Sort of. Come on. Keep shooting. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Gatekeepers, you'll need to face pay lyrics. Oh, that's not going to be good for you, but... But, um... At least you'll have some help from your friends. Hoo! That's going to hurt. Only half the enemy okay. continue like this. Uh, battle the crew. Do something about those snow spears. Alrighty. I'm almost forgetting to... Drink my tea, this is so exciting. Ah, okay. Hmm. Right. Where are we? The tea is not yet cold, and the Black Shield Warriors have yet to rout, but let's give them a push and see what happens. More Black Shield Warriors in need of a rout. Let's give them one. Who are you shooting at? Paleorix? It's a good choice. Good choice. Um, you guys, though, run that way. And prepare to lay a volley on those payloads over there. We need to do some real breaking of the enemy now. Oh, yes. Chase down Black Shield Warriors. I will be happy if you do that. Okay. You 32 there. You've done an excellent service to your country. And you are dealing with the final snow troll. Excellent. I'm kind of happy with how we managed to deal with them. Um, slightly through their the own stupidity. But yeah. Okay. Catapults. You don't need to fire anymore. I think it would be detrimental. Nice. Okay. Good. You are going for the snow orc spears. And they are slightly in disarray. So I'm... Hopeful that it'll do something good. Keep your spirits high and your weapons higher. Yes, you are strong people and you shall use it for smashing some black shields. Come on. Move, you bastards. What are you doing? You're fighting. Stop that and shoot the enemy instead. We're going to form up a nice little avenue here for you to shoot some pale Erex. Now get going. Uh, what's going here? Pale Eric's coming for you. Mmm. Don't like. Don't like. There are 12 of them, but I still don't like it because they are some of the most heavily armoured units in the game. So let's not beat around the bush on this one. Well, actually, let us absolutely beat around the bush and then hit their friends. <laughs> we are going to beat that bush so hard that it simply catches fire from the very thought of it. Okay. Um... There we go. Pale Oryx broken. Very nice. Your sacrifice, dear crossbowman, has not been for nothing. Ah, oh, yes. This the snow troll charged, but into the unit, at least the melee unit, best served in dealing with it. Let's give him a cavalry charge as well. Um... Yeah. Oh yes, the snow troll dies. Very good, very good, very good. Anything else? I guess we just have fleeing enemies to deal with now. Which I... Uh, I'm sort of pleased with. Two units. Snow orc spears. Oh yeah. I mean, let's absolutely do something about those. And... Um, What's the other one? It's over here. Oh, a single pale Eric. 
Yeah, let's not waste our bolts on him. Let's rather run him down. Uh, speed it up. We want as few as possible to uh, leave this place. This is a clear there you victory. go. Woo! We managed to do it. We managed to overcome a an outnumbering army of pretty good snow orcs. This was also, I mean, this is kind of the gold standard Bree army. So, um, you know, with, with all the best troops our realm can offer outside of, like, dwarven mercenaries. Gatekeepers, thank you for your service, good men. It is incredible to see your results. And uh, you heal a lot. You're basically back to full strength after the battle. Oh, that's wonderful. Lovely, lovely, lovely to see. Greenway Riders also doing well. More gatekeepers, merchant infantry. I mean, it's teamwork. That's what Breland armies offer. Teamwork, I say. The catapults are a bit underwhelming in some respects, but this one did well. And 100 casualties there. Eh, no, it's decent. Decent. Some of those 100 people might be merchant infantry and uh, <laughs> watchmen axe guards, but let's not talk about that. We won the day. Let's not talk about the friends and neighbors that we maimed along the way. <laughs> oh dear. Because that would just be wholeheartedly depressing. Yes, depressing. And, and we're not here to be depressed. We're here to... Um, We're here to take on the snow orcs and, sno and show them and snow them that there is a better way. Our courage and honor have conquered. It has indeed. Okay, so this puts us in a good position yes, because now Lord. Tom can take his yes. contingent Making camp here. and this continue, will keep vigil over the as it were. We shall continue mm. tomorrow. You know what? Yeah, we can send uh, those guys into that fort. Your orders, my lord. And so we have that fort, and that's nice. And then further, they can merge up later. Yes, but really, this army is going to Gundabad, so maybe cavalry engage. is not what it needs the most. Eh, I don't know. We'll my see. Lord. So, there are some troops here that definitely need some retraining. Um... Let's see. Definitely these. They're not going to be retrainable anytime soon. Your will, my lord. And let's just take these as well. Send them to like more of a task or something. Command. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. Where training potential is going through the roof. Okay. What do we have to work with here? A brawler's bit. Goodbye. Walk breeder. Farewell. Walk camp. It was nice camping with you, but no thanks. And, um, what else? Barracks gets public order. Happy with that. Practice range! Nope. Not my kind of practice. Traveler's rest, though. I like that. And so we hike up the tax a little Your bit. Otto, uh, would you like to build a tower? Yes, I yes. think you would. With honor. With this honor, indeed. I mean, he's possibly enthused by the prospect of building towers. <laughs> yes. My okay, Castle Master West, you are to travel east. With honor, order. Yeah, you might think that I want you to travel As west or something wish. because of your name, Join but uh, I, I uh, your like command. to be anything but predictable. Your orders, my lord. Making yes, my Rich. Lord. Yes. Continue east. Dog will do it as bugger all, and this means that we will have to do something about them. Ooh, and siege equipment is beginning to come to Barley Town, which means our middlemen number is increasing. Much to the chagrin of our enemies, for sure. Alrighty. Oh, Mercenaries Hall. Soon to be ready at Mount Buka. 
Things are going well. Things are going well. And our profits are bearing it out. Hello, your stone. Hello, Mount Gundabad. 67% chance of success. You know what, let's start with an easier mission first. But I guess Rousey is as good a spy as he's going to be, so... Yes. Maybe Gazluk will leave and we'll be able to infiltrate him more easily, but... Mm, I'm not too optimistic on that one. Travel's Lodge in Latash. Yes, please. And then... Trading Plaza in Basradum. All the good things. All the good things. Basra Doom will upgrade in a bunch of turns. Maybe we should get some sheep farming in. First thing, and Terthuin, you're upgrading your town level. That's good. That's very good indeed. You guys can retrain, so do. Actually, you can all retrain. Is that armor? suppose it might be. No, it's not experience. Eh, yeah, that's less tempting. Tharbad. Lovely with some eco upgrades. Prosperity shall be through the roof. We should definitely start getting a diplomat into the vicinity of Gundabad so that we can perhaps come to some dealings My king. our dwarves Aye. need to go to Bree for a training By your command, we can go the rest no of you can kind of stay around here it's fine your will, my lord. oh the goblins are once want? again trying to throw themselves at Fenris Druinen good I luck chappies as if they were my own friend. good luck indeed Right. Hmm. Are we in a good place? I think we're in a decent place. Mordor and Dawinion at war. It's fine. Gatekeepers trained Bree. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. We have. Yes, uh, ah, yes. We do have a diplomat here. At. Um, in range of the stone. Let's see. Question. Oh, hello, Herzog. Of course, you're the bloke I want to see. No good or bad. So, out, well, what if you were to seed as Maithelberg for a ceasefire? No. A ceasefire is still demanding to you. But. Maybe, if we were to take Mount Gundabad, your tune would change. One can only hope, anyway. I suppose our actions have given... Angmar a bit of a respite, so maybe we should uh, get in touch with those guys. That's not a bad idea. Yes, my lord. Of course, as you wish. Let me see. Tomorrow's journey. Do -do 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 yeah. Okay. So Angmar, they are enemies of the Dunedain, the Dwarves of Erdluin, whom we call friends, and then they they are enemies of Gundabad. So I guess long term, the best thing to do is really Stopping just to try and make peace with Gundabad, and that would sort of bring a certain stability with it. But uh, for now, that's about it for here. Let's go and have a look at Karasast. And... Ooh. Options galore. Mercenaries Lodge soon ready. Excellent. I mean, who knows? Might even be able to wait a war from here. Not against Isengard, though. I mean, Jesus Christ. The strength they have. But... I'm thinking... 
might we be able to buy another place like uh, Annual Lond or something or Lond Gallen somewhere that would kind of plug a gap here Calumbell maybe let's see Bring a proposition for my king. <sighs> we'll probably have no one in that place though Dondangren, Gallen. Jesus Christ, your empire is humongous. Okay. Minas Tirith, what do you say? <laughs> Can we buy Minas Tirith from you? I'm going to try. It's going to be obscenely expensive. 60,000 right off the bat. That's my first offer. It's balanced. I see potential here. Okay. I have a plan. Of course we have a problem. Is Thuk want? is sa standing right there. Um, let's wait a turn and see if he buggers off. But essentially my plan would be to n grab these lovely lads, put them on this bridge, and then if, if Thuk goes away, then we would be able to actually occupy Minas Tirith from the get-go. Is it the perfect plan? By no means is it, but I think it's the plan we need. But because it seems that Gondor is currently reduced to a size between Bugger and All, sandwiched in between us, Harad, and Dol Amroth, who is presently the only real thing keeping Isengard from swarming them utterly and swallowing the remnants of Gondor. And so, chipping a little, little a bit away at uh, this whole Isengard Empire is a good idea, I think. At least as long as the peace with Dol Amroth holds, because they do have one, don't they? Yes, Dol Amroth is not at war with Isengard, and neither are we. Nor Boraclaw. Do we want a show of skill? Uh, no, no. I like a merchant skill instead. Metalberg. Hmm. They want us to take Maitleburg. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, I mean, we could definitely besiege it. Yes, my lord. We could definitely do that. Take back that An fort first. Glorious victory. It's very nice. Conquest. Um, well, we have the means, I suppose. Especially if they vacate it. But I doubt they will, to be honest. Let's take some of the heavier troops. And one more. Maybe a cavalry unit. Why not? Okay. And so this army is sort of ready to do its thing. We need a traveler's lodge in Barda Town. We also need chicken farming though. You know what? Let's get that one first. And we'll also plug the bleeding population hole in the settlement. Okay. Population bleed. Should that be a term? I think so. The population bleed. <laughs> okay. And mercenaries come to Mabuka and there we go. Nice. Tom. Let's build some towers along the way. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Yes. And this cavalry. Yeah, we don't need it there, do we? Yes, my lord. What we really need is we shall continue tomorrow. To maybe battle. a little bit more siege. Maybe some rangers, something like that. Your orders, my lord. No, actually, we've got we've got a decent amount of archers. No. So what we really need is actually maybe some pikes or something. And we do have... We do have some mainline infantry here that could be used. Some Radar landsmen are also nice. So... 
We have options, we have options. Plenty of options. And here, of course, we have Sideline Mercs. We retrain the pikes. Very nice. My lord. And we have a spy. I spy with my little eyes. Something beginning with yes, Bree. We shall engage. Mercenaries Lodge and Bree. Very good. Very good. More of a tarth. Chicken farming. Well, I suppose that gives way to communal farming. We just want all these development buildings and we'll throw in some Ballastai, some siege uh, siege workshops along the way. Londair. Mm, Traveller's Lodge. I mean, the mercenaries we can get from it are good. But let's perhaps first focus on that Royal Hall. And then we'll get the whole growth business going. And uh, Osnathiel. You're upgrading. Excellent. Bardetown. Yes, we've got the farming and uh, the conversion. Thinking about it though, we are going to go for the Traveller's Lodge first. Because we seem to have a respite, so I'm not that... Um, shall we say... Pressed for new pikes. But eventually we do also want some catapults there. It's a very important choke point, And choke points need catapults. Like my ear needs cuddles. Okay. Then we have... Byrig, which is now a catapult, pretty sure. Nor claw, because... Yeah, you're just doing your thing. Oh, speaking of doing your thing, Otto! Your, orders, your thing seems to be building towers. This tower will keep vigil over Go back. Nice. Saduri upgradable. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Whose enemy are you, Dunland? Whose enemy are you, actually? <laughs> Who calls you enemy? Um, the Northern Dunedain, and that's it. And we've cut you off from them. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe not the best decision long term, but we shall see. Um, do, 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 do. My lord. <sighs> Should we go and spy on Mangundabad? Let's yes. do it. Yay! Rowley, you lovely guy. Hmm. I mean, what we could do... It's just a very cheeky assault. And just rush them in there. We just build up a little force and then rush them in there. It's not a bad idea, actually. We need some armor piercing, though. Like that. Bandobras archers. No, don't really need those. Um, so what do we have here? We have a bit of cavalry. Have some armor piercing units. Yeah, I think that's kind of what we will need for a preemptive assault. If, if we could just take it over in one turn with those present but of course they will also have a million defenders so to wit there's nothing to see here nothing to see here we're not building troops up on your border or anything we're just shopping around okay what's happening here oh yes thank you you have vacated Minas Tirith um Very, very good. Very good. Trading posts coming, which means merchant infantry is coming. Okay. As you wish. Ah, oh, but they still block the bloody way. 
Going back again. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um, let us train a spy. And then just some general units. Oh, goodness. That nearly caused a power outage. I hope you'll bear with me for a few seconds while I drink my tea. Ah. And we are coming back to you now at the turn of the tide. We need to upgrade this place long term, but of course the trading posts will help. Yes, my lord. As well. <sighs> the Minister Earth is still 90% Dunedain. I'm hoping. You know what? Let's let's try it. Let's see what happens. Minus Tirith, I will give you 52,000. That's in an, an inordinate amount of money. And they accept it. Oh, and we get... Excellent, we get troops in here. And we even get another merchant to train. And the music just swells at the thought of Bree. Proud merchants purchasing Minas Tirith away from the tyrannical rule of Isengard. My lord. Well done, Buka. Okay, we have purchased Isengard, <laughs> folks. Uh, life is strange. Okay. Gondor is our ally, so we... It's impossible to tell how long this uh, peace with Isengard will last. I mean, <laughs> look at this. It is completely... Is 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 completely want? obscene, the amount of troops they have at the Pelennor Field. It, uh, okay. Well, um... But regardless of whatever happens, we will probably see a fight between us and Isengard on the Pelennor Fields Lord, in Lord. the turns to come. Somehow, I cannot help but feel that this is where everything is going. And that's kind of fun, isn't it? It's, it's these scenarios. A battle between Bree and Isengard at the Pelennor Fields. Uh, this is uh, the quality content that you've all come for, I'm sure. <laughs> uh. But we have passed Isengard and they have not attacked us yet. <laughs> That's basically what I will be watching for at every end turn from now on. It is, when will Isengard attack Minas Tirith? <laughs> yes, I want a Merchant's Guild. Um, and yes, I want Dwarves in there and I want them retrained. And I want some Mercenaries. Very, very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I like it. Okay. Let us also build a Lord Hall, maybe. Hmm... Actually, no. Growth. Growth is where it all goes. Lord's Hall will help indirectly, but not short term. We need a Traveler's Rest here as well, though. So let's get that one down. Good. Mitchell Derving. You just do you. Mercenaries Lodge and Mitrith. Ooh, excellent. Merchant Infantry. That's for me. And whatever else. Oh, that's about it. Okay, Ostgelon. Ooh, this place is soon to upgrade as well. Nice to see, nice to see. Keep it going, Ed, keep it going. Let's actually... Mm, can we build... Yeah, we can train our basic troops. So, Ballas to make next. That's what we're going to do. And Bregost. Yeah, just continue with what you're doing. It's all good. Large city upgrade, which means... 
you know what? We're past these pre-land militia. Let's replace them with gatekeepers and merchant infantry. Far better units. And also Mason's Guildhouse. Nice to see. Uh, yes, and we're of course building new buildings to capitalize on this new reality. Whew, okay. I mean, I want to train a merchant in Minas Tirith now, but... I sort of can't. <laughs> This is a uh, uh, city, but it's fun. Night stables though, let's get rid of that. Practice range, nope. Good. Well, I suppose we'll just uh, As you wish. we'll just wait around here and see what happens. It put a dent in our economy, but uh, we will recover. We will recover. Buying Minas Tirith has a lot of symbolic value. By your command. It's, it's maybe the only value it has, but it's value. Damn it. Okay. Uh, let's get some more landsmen up there. Yes, Tom. Tom, ta ta tom, ta tom. Ooh, Gundabad is going on a bit of a crusade. Okay, we're going to wait a turn and see what they do. But essentially, next turn, it's going to be full boogaloo. Because attacking it now would draw in Zag Goof, and I really don't want to. Yes, my lord. But essentially, they are cleared west of the Misty Mountains, which is good. Gundabad is now confined. And, um. Well, Rich, let's get you going. Hello, Dolgudur. Glory, honor, taste of my blade. No, I will not taste your bloody blade. But I will go for Kazadum, actually. That sounds like a smashing idea. Uh, and we essentially have a path right down to it. Right? How, how far does the high path go? Eastern Peaks, Eastern Peaks, Eastern Peaks. Eastern Peaks, Eastern Peaks. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are essentially border regions. So, that's the way we go. Let's go get that sucker. We're going to take away one of the most profitable settlements. Probably the most profitable settlements in the entire game. And with that done, surely they will agree to some form of peace. Hopefully. But if they don't, we'll just have to struggle on in the name of Barlaman the Great. Isengard has still not attacked Minas Tirith. Dare I be hopeful? Hmm, okay, what do we have here? He's severe. Uh, naive, but that's okay. Loyal. Adopted. Fair fighter. Uh, I guess. Edmund has potential. Let's get him. Where, do you, where does he go? Kavithbrin. It's not the worst place in the world to see him. Fenner's Drunin assaulted. Hmm. There were two Drunin... Let me see. Oh yes, more mercenaries for that army. Good. Let's get some more. Ah, lovely to see. K 
coming together from all of Eriador. Your will, my lord. My lord. By your command. And Mount Gundabad sits with a large garrison, but this time not with snow trolls at least. You know, I'm kind of yes. contemplating it now. Yes. Your orders, my lord. Could you feasibly attack it? Yes, you could. Would you? Yes, engage. you would. We and shall yes, there we go. The so, yes, Tom. What say you? Shall we take Mount Gundabad this episode? I think we bloody shall. But first, we shall queue up some trade buildings here. And, uh, come on, Isengard, get off my land! You know, you're standing in the middle of my lawn, so get off my lawn! Anyway. Um. Ah, that's about it. Okay, good. Right. Which army do you want to attack with? Uh, let's attack with... You know what? Let's go with Bale. Maybe. Ah, let's go with Tom. The gates are open. And my goodness, they get a thousand extra troops. Uh, it's going to be a slog. It's going to be an interesting one, though. Okay. Muster your courage, men. We must ah, into battle. It's time for Gundabad to fall. In a bit of a surprise visit from Bree. And surely by the end of this battle, the Snow Orcs will see they're no longer welcome in Eriador in any form, and peace is the only option. The gates are open to us because Rowley has done an amazing job. Uh, let's keep. Okay, so these are our most disposable archers because they're easy to train. And with these guys, they're a bit more iffy, a bit more regional. Hmm, so, heavy hitters, you in one, light affair in another, and then we have our formation based infantry, pole arms and the like. Right here, bodyguard, be ready to lead your army with grace, good man. So, a uh, lovely spy has opened the gates. So let's see if they stay there. They do not. So we'll just wait for them to vacate the premises and then we shall move. We shall make our move. Right, it is time to walk through the gates of Gundabad. So while we do so, let's just set up in a nice way. I kind of anticipate that we'll have two major holes to plug. What kind of unit is this? Oh, it's the general. Ugh. Okay, okay. Well, okay. We'll need definitely our heavy hitters against those. These guys in pursuit. Then maybe we should put those over there. We will end up putting... Some archers here. Some archers there. Bodyguard. Gatekeepers. Okay, they're moving too. Okay, good. This gives us a bit more wiggle room. Let's put uh, catapults sort of here. Here. 
one here. And here. Then we put our free land archers over here. Watchmen. Right over here we have these guys. Okay. Then Gatekeepers, come here. The gates swing open and Bree marches forth. Uh, We've captured the enemy's walls. Now, in front of our archers, we will have our pole arms. Ah, uh, this so it's a bit tricky to place units yeah, properly, but that'll have to do. Like so. Team four, though. Um, we should keep you guys over. Yeah. Now, their army is almost exclusively melee, and they have placed their mountain guard right here, where we can hit their general on the head and call it a day. Which would be incredible if we can actually pull that off. This settlement is big enough for our cavalry to actually have an impact, so let's bring them in. And of course, as our army depletes, which inevitably parts of it will, these lovely folks are ready to step in. It's just auto that doesn't really have the... No, this isn't auto. Um, I don't... I, 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 I've forgotten your name. Sorry. But he doesn't really have um, the mental stamina to deal with uh, an army of too many thousands. So let's keep it in time six for now as our army gets into place. So if you put yourself there, can you actually shoot the enemy that we intend? Not really, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. For now though, Let's start by... Oh! We're shooting the... Mm, you know what? Let's not do that. Because you're not very economical in dealing with those guys. Although you did take down a banner carrier, so that's good. Um, but I would really like our Ballister crew to um, do something there. Archers, what are you doing? Just um Okay, they're coming in. They have been lured. As it were. There may be orcs near they say when invading Gundabad. Yes, there are orcs near. Excellent. We've whittled down that unit to almost nothing. Oh, there's some half trolls over there. Bows the crew. Do what you do. Anyone coming this way? Oh yes, Black Shield Warriors. Well, am I happy to see you. Point does at them. There we go. And then continual fire from the gatekeepers should be wonderful in, in this situation. Will be ours. But now we also have some Black Shield Warriors to contend with. Yes, get them going. Yeah. 
They've made contact with the gatekeepers, but we're still punishing them quite severely. Okay. Time to make those Black Shield Warriors pay. We're going to beat them by black and blue. Another half troll dies. Do that, Rangers. You can also do some suppression fire on those boys, can't you? Our men have slain the enemy general. Excellent. The enemy will lose their will to fight. Good work, everybody. Keep your spirits high. Alrighty. Time to circumvent their line a little bit. Keep on firing, boys. Oh, the half trolls are on the move. Okay, okay, it's interesting. Cavalry. Prepare to assist from behind. Our Salaran mercenaries have done a really good job, actually. Holding off the enemy like that. Very good, very good. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Two half trolls remaining. Good. Only half the enemy okay. force remains. Now, where do we need cavalry help the most? I would say we do need it over here, but let's start in this area and then we can probably divert some heavies. Hey, Black Shield Warriors feeling the pain of ca catastrophic catapult blasts, shall we say? Okay. Hmm. Black Shield Warriors must feel the pain. Charge! Yes! Right into the backs of them. And then we're going to repeat that, but elsewhere. Nice little charge there. Good. Okay. And another! Our lines hold. Steady on, good men of Bree. Right, gatekeepers, move forth. Have yourselves a little bit of a rest as you redeploy. Good watchman, you've done a great job. A good service to your nation. The Black Shield Warriors are not doing great over here. They are being absolutely mauled. The, the dwarves are key culprits in that area. A little charge. I mean, there's not the best cavalry in the world, but they get the job done. At least a job done. Okay, I think it's time for our siege to uh, 
ceasefire. And so our tactics should start revolving around breaking what's left of the enemy army. Breaking their spirit and their will. Oh, hello. There we are. Maybe we should, um, oh yeah, actually, march our lovely archers that way. Smashing get Doing some little hit and run strikes over here. That's good. And, ooh. For the dwarves! Good. Everybody, march along. Gatekeepers. Pole arms. Archers. Everybody move forward. There are still enemies to crush. Them. Let's begin a bit of a bombardment of that place. Oops! That was not meant to happen. And so this gives our infantry a little bit of time to rest before the final push. Black Shield Warriors over there. Let's overwhelm them with numbers. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There's some defenders there. Our men have taken control of the city. Come on, form up and charge properly. I think we're in a good place. Anyone left? What is left? Oh, a single black shield warrior. Take him out. There we are. We have won here today. Breeze celebrates this victory. Gatekeepers again taking the highest score
But Sadder and Merck's not far behind. Ah. <sighs> so. This episode is coming to an end on a bit of a high. Let's just see if we can solidify that by getting an amicable peace with the dastardly snow orcs. An honorable, glorious I mean, we have victory. sort of split up the realm, of Remember, course, but our courage and honor have conquered. all that said. I think we have now proved that we are an existential threat to them and they should listen to what we have yes, to say. I'm gonna stick you. There is a peace you have come to ask for. I must inform you we cannot that, that is all. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Well well. Without question. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Stopping here. I suppose the campaign must then continue. But it continues now from the vantage point of Mount Gundabad or Mount Tom. So where is their actual faction leader now? That's my question. It's probably... Oh yeah, he's on his way down to... Lothlorien or someplace. Your orders, my lord. Have a taste of my blade. But I would say... We have done pretty well in this episode. We've taken two key regions. We have expanded our profit margins quite considerably. And we are making our way toward yes, another ma'am. lovely place. We shall engage. Glory, honor, so next turn victory. we'll probably just start with yes, us antagonizing Captain and Maugaz. And till next time, if anyone asks what the purchasing price of Minas Tirith is, well you can then say 52,000. Isn't a bad deal. So, until next time, everybody, Captain Total Waffle considerably out. <laughs>